What's good? We got another unscripted video for you here today. I don't think I'm going to talk too long about this, but uh, I was listening to uh, 100 Gex in my car today. And I, this is, a, I really actually have a bit to say about this that I hope other people can connect with. But 100 Gex is, is a sound that like, that there, and in particularly the song that I want to talk about is Hand Crushed by a Mallet. And I can't pronounce all of the, I can't remember if it's written in a weird way as it was on Spotify. Um, or I, I can't remember how to pronounce it. And the, like, there's probably like some numbers or letters in there. It's, it's lead speak, right? And I think that touches on what I mainly want to talk about with 100 Gex. But if you've not heard of them, they're what's called a hyper pop or a glitch core band. And it, it has a lot of sounds that if you showed it to like a, a purist or a purist of music or, or someone who's like only, only likes classical or someone who's like, oh, this is real music, you could tick off someone pretty hard uh, with showing them 100 Gex because their music is uh, so unabashedly, uh, it, it's still music, but it's so unabashedly like anti everything that makes music sound harmonious and uh and 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 technically impressive and 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 uh and traditional uh 100 gex is is uh hyper pop and everything it, it 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 let me just talk about the song and 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 we'll get into like everything else as, as we go right but let that be a primer for this this is not your this is not your grandma's music <laughs> uh but um the song starts out with synths, synths that are characteristic of like hard style and remind me of like Cascadas every time we touch, or at least a couple of the synths in that song, or maybe some more just like uh, cleaner synths. And I like those the sound a lot. And then you get into the vocoded or the the computery sounded or or, or the strong auto tuned voice. And there's two voices in this song, Laura Les and, and Dylan Brady. I think that's uh, those are the two, two names of, of the people who who are make up 100 Gex and they sing in the songs. Uh, and all I can think of, and the singing's okay, but and I, there's nothing like too like technically impressive about it. I think, but just the wit, just the creativity, the wit, and the delivery, and the uh, and the way it's produced and mixed is is what makes 100 gex 100 gex it sounds exactly like a youtube nightcore video from like 2006 where someone is making like a naruto amv and like has like uh i don't know like Bro boulevard of broken dreams on on nightcore <laughs> it reminds me of the time when i was on youtube when it like came out like in 2007 you know very young internet youtube and i was watching like P club penguin AMV for Lincoln Park, like uh, the Shadow of the Day or something like that, and, and so they would have like a nightcore, uh, nightcore um, uh, mix to the song where it'd be very high pitch and quick, and like very high pitched vocals and, and fast music, and and then there would also be uh, uh, like an unregistered hypercam uh, label at the top of the screen, like 240p. Those were the days, man. Those were the days, and that's exactly what 100 gex feels like 100 gex when you listen to it it feels like early internet it feels like my tween years or my or my you know younger years being on the internet where i could you know on a sunday maybe my family would come home from church and i would just be on the computer all day on new grounds on congregate playing games looking at animations watching youtube and seeing this sort of content where like there it like you would see some like poorly drawn furry characters in Microsoft Paint and and they would be like to some anime opening in the background and and and, and it's that vibe or like listening to like old ego raptor animations or or um like watching really like crappy footage of anime conventions in the mid 2000s and having like anime openings in the background and then like having people in the comments go wow this is epic xd lol i want to go to the con too ooh, ooh. like every ever like hopefully i conjured up like i've pulled from your past if you're around my time or I've, I've created feelings in you this is exactly what 100 gex feels like at my soul this is what it feels like 
Um, it's all of those those feelings colliding all at once into this type of music that has dance beats to it and uh, um, uh, lyricism that's uh, like approaching like rap uh, at, at parts of the song like towards the end too I, I would say like it's it, it gets more into that and um, and just absolutely and also like really creatively like blasting uh, like um, oh in other parts of the album they do like like a money machine they had a I think it was money machine well anyway uh, they, they do like black metal influence stuff too like it's it's experimental it's cool it evokes this feeling that if you're you know of my age like you're in your early 20s this is this is the sound that that, that you feel right um, maybe if, if you were on the internet like like me now I imagine if you're anyone like my you know my elder or a little bit too young I don't think you 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 will interpret the music in the exact same way as me and you'll just be like what the hell is this right it's um th this is uh just like over auto tuned uh and it's the, the the background is is just blasting synths that that don't feel like they don't belong or or it sounds glitchy it sounds like it, there's way too much clipping like the, the clipping in, in, in the sound is obviously left there for, for a reason. But, um, but uh, yeah, like, I think that's what I just want to talk about with, with 100 Gex. That's what I wanted to share is that, like, I – maybe you guys can relate to this. The feeling that I enjoy when I'm listening to their music, of course, there's, like, there's like dance beats and stuff, and that's interesting. But what I enjoy is it takes me back to that vibe of – I am a I am a ten or twelve year old, and I am just experiencing the internet for the first time, and I am learning about all this stuff, and I'm playing a bunch of flash games, and and this is what it sounds like. That that's why I like it. <laughs> it's not it's not because it's good. I like like it's objectively good. I I don't I wouldn't I mean it's art right so it's it's subjective but like not that it's technically impressive not that it's the 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 time signatures or the uh, or the the composition is like is is impressive but it's what they've done like like that's part of music is like pulling at someone's soul what they've done for that for me is it's super effective like in Pokemon I got this. Blast Toys, Baja, Baja Blast Toys t-shirt at a convention. Very choice. But, uh, but no, they, like, they, it, they super effective tugged on my soul. Very good. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, still working on the sign off stuff, but have a good day and thanks for listening to, uh, some regular guy on the internet. <laughs> Take care.